here at home. What's up guys, Mr. Gamer 997 here today. We are back on MLB The Show 21. If you guys enjoyed this video, it would be really appreciated if you drop a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you never miss another upload. Let's play The Show 21. Oh, Yankees lead the series 2-0. He's another good pitcher. His record is 3-0. With a 2.78 ERA, his whip is a 0 0.90. Seven walks, 22 strikeouts, 33 innings. Yeah. Next to the plate for the Phils, Richard O'Neill. You've seen that average climb during his seven-game hitting streak. Seven-game hitting streak, 13 for 30. 391, three home runs, 14 RBIs. First pitch of the AB on its way. Oh, he muffed it. <laughs> he muffed it. Hey, there's another pace knock right there. A hitting streak now up to eight games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Eight games. Now, I man, we're starting to think about it a little bit. Oh, Kyle Lewis, I know, one fifty three. They start talking eight games, now you're like, oh, I got a nice little hitting streak. I need to figure out how to stop it from skipping for it, because it's really at a disadvantage. It's early two strikes against him, and he even take a swing yet. Forever to get out there. Damn. Next to stand in is Labor Torres. He collected a base hit his first time out. Here it comes, 0 2. Gets it high and deep out to center field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. So here's how the Phillies are positioned defensively. Uh, got me again on that stupid right low right change up. I'm interested to see how focused their ABs will be playing with this lead. I think this needs to be a little bit of a smell blood in it. Keep the fire rolling. I know it's early, but keep the pressure going. Swinging the bat's nice. So now into the box is Richard O'Neill, grounded out in his last at bat. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. So a ground ball single up the center of the diamond makes it two hits for him on the afternoon. And as you see there, he currently tops the Phillies in that department. Now it's thrown over the front. It throws him and they got him. Bullshit. <laughs> he took that long. He's diving back to the bag, and he took that long to dive back to the bag. Oh, it's just such horse shit in this game. Next up, Richard O'Neill singled in his last at bat. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field, and that is off the wall. And there's your tying run at second base with a one-out double. Wow, when I heard that and saw it leave his bat, I thought we were going to be all tied up, but it just didn't have enough to get out of here, so he's going to have to settle for a double. Tying run on second, and now things are officially getting interesting. You know you suck when you can't even hit a home run at Yankee Stadium. Base knock to the outfield could score the tying run from second. Ooh. 
Here now the 2 2. Now a bunt attempt here. And good awareness behind the plate as he'll make the quick basket catch for the second out. And he'll try to get back now, but it's not going to work. The throw what? hangs him out to dry. He bunt. Did he bunt that ball up? I don't even see that. So. Don't matter anyway. The Yankees don't put up three more runs. Stepping in next, Richard O'Neill. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Now here's the first offer. Sinker on the inside, and that's a strike. So the Bronx Bombers are maintaining a slim lead in the late going of this series finale. So if they can wrap it up, they'll complete the series sweep. Hey, Matt, what a great spot to be in. You're playing good baseball. You're going come for on, the sweep. Come on, go, go, and go, you're go, leading go, go, by go, go. a few runs going into the later innings. Now it's just time to close the deal. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. You'd think they'd stop pitching to this guy by now. He's been torching them all weekend, and he stays hot here with another extra base hit. They'll be happy when this series is over, so they don't have to deal with this dude anymore. Stepping up is Kyle Lewis. He was a double play victim last time around. Towards second. Round well, the first is in time, and the Yankees win it. The Yankees win. Wow, what a week for these guys. Talk about firing on all cylinders. Winners of an amazing seven games in a row. They say to never question the streak, <clears throat> and these guys aren't. They're Our just enjoying this ride. Eight to four. Mm, Yankees. Mm, four for five. We hit two singles and two doubles. It's not just great for his team and his teammates and his coaches. It's great for the game that there's a two-way player having this kind of impact. What about for the fans? It has to be exciting to watch as well. It sure is. You know, I, and I think it's exciting for the fans, the people in the industry, and, and for myself as well. You just don't see them. You just don't see guys that have the ability to do this two-way playing that often. I mean, it's, it's a handful. So it's such an a cool athleticism that they bring to the table that people are very intrigued it's almost like must see tv you really want to check out this guy and see what makes him so different than everyone else my arm strength up. From the borough of Queens, we're at the home of the Mets, City Field. Tonight, it's an NL Eastern Division showdown between the Philadelphia Phillies and the New York Mets. New York attempt to end a six-game losing streak. Next. Joey Lucchese is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Mets. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, you take a look at that ERA. That's a little bloated right now. This guy's a better pitcher than that, but he hasn't been real consistent. One good game, one bad game. I think what he needs to do, if he can string together three or four good quality games in a row, that ERA will start creeping back down. He definitely needs to start pitching a lot better than he has up to this point. And it'll be interesting to see if he can turn it around in this one. Fellas, these Mets as they enter play here tonight. are in the midst 
midst of a pretty bad stretch as they've dropped six straight coming in. Yeah, Matty V, we got a couple of teams right now that haven't been playing very good baseball in the world. One of these two teams needs to get things turned around and start things off on a good note and win the first game of the series. It just takes one to win the game. I'm, I'm telling you, I know both teams come in on a losing streak, but someone finds a gap, someone puts their best foot forward and has a nice outing on the mound. This can turn around super quick. Oh, popped up. Man, that sucks. Left. One down. Fucking terrible, but we're just Digging losing in. every freaking game. We just got them Yankees and shit. Are we gonna get swept by the fucking Mets too? Last AB certainly just missed it with this guy's big power. Find the ball, he's find the ball, find the ball. The dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out. We're gonna draw offline that time. We're actually gonna get shut out in this game. Remaining for them to try and rally back in this one. Skied into straightaway right. So there, we'll wait on it, and that will retire the side. This one. That's crazy. Why am I power only at 78? There's some horse shit, go, a horse shittery going on in this game. My power is way higher than a 78. How the fuck is my power down to a 78? Center fielders. Yeah, I think this game be screwing you, bro. For real. Like, in some parks you play and your power is lower. It lowers your power. You know, it's just crazy. How the fuck is that possible? My power go from an 82 to a 78. It just don't make no sense. Philadelphia Phillies and the New York Mets. 
He went from having a great record, even playing 500 baseball just like that. And now Richard O'Neill. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Back up the middle. And that's the ball for a hit. I mean, an absolute bullet line drive on the first pitch of the game. I always yeah, too much glitches in this fucking game, so man. That has to frustrate the living heck out of you. Because if I'm leading off and I never do it, I'm safe, bitch. <laughs> you know the defense wants that play back. They had him totally picked off when he took off early, but they just couldn't finish him off. We'll see if that comes back to bite him here. O'Neal leads off second with nobody out. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Always tough to issue a free pass, but especially troublesome when you give up a single Jordan right Yamamoto. inning. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. And Bryce Harper ain't been doing good. He's batting at 245. Yeah, he's having a home run in 16 RBIs. Bryce Harper should be killing things. Yeah, he has more home runs than me, but he only got like two more friggin' RBIs than I do. <laughs> and a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. He's playing in the game like he's playing in real life. Dragging out every time he comes up to bat. So far this year. Swing and a liner. That's in there. Base hit. The run is in to score, and they take an early 1-0 lead. Hey, that's a big RBI single right there, d -Wo. They lost the first game of the series, and they certainly don't want to fall behind and may potentially lose the first two games of the set. Without question, Dan, offensively, you're just trying to grind it out, give your team a chance, give the pitcher a chance to relax. So now here is Richard O'Neill. He's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. From the stretch. Line drive to center field. In there, base hit, and that ought to get the run. Hang on, hang on, right there. Well, Dan, do you agree with the timing of the visit from the pitching coach? You know, that's sort of a tough one since it's only the second inning, but I think it's about knowing your pitcher and how they respond. He's had some struggles here, so I think he's just reminding him to let those go and focus on the next batter. Alec Bowen. So one out here with runners at first and third, and that will bring up Alec Bowen. Yeah. misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. What's the saying? When you find yourself in a hole, the first thing you should do is stop digging. Well, the guy on the bump obviously hasn't heard that one. Man, Yamamoto, I haven't heard that phrase, I guess. Peraza, the runner at third. O'Neal at second. Bone is over at first with one away. On the ground is short. This could be two. McNeil's got it for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Next, here is Richard O'Neill. A couple of singles to his credit thus far. Come set, here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Drilled right back up the middle, and that finds its way through for a base hit. Now on, a long throw to third, but too late, and he's safe at third. There's no way to sugarcoat it. It's been pretty bad for three and a third inning so far. That's the eighth hit he's given up, and if he doesn't get his mind straight, he's going to be heading to the showers early. So it's second and third with one gone now, and that'll bring up Alec Mohn. <laughs> Nothing.
nothing and one count. Here it comes. Liner towards second. And that's in there. Base hit. One run scores. The throw to the plate. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Boy, that's an aggressive send there, Dero, because this outfielder has a very strong throwing arm. Yeah, and when you're sitting in the hitter's meeting, that's stuff they go over. So every base runner is on notice, knowing that this guy's got one of the strongest arms in the league, but they challenged him, and it worked. Jamil is one of the speediest guy in the league. <laughs> Into the box, Richard O'Neill. He doubled his last time up. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an AB, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Hey, the speed, right baby. Now. You Let's need the speed. Uh. Stay in the trust tree. He had trouble getting <laughs> of course, the slugging part of it ain't working, but you need the speed. Uh. Speed part of it is working. Him being a slugging speed there, the slugging part of his game isn't working that much, but contact part is working. Well, it bone sucks. And he just got it off the end of that. Not much of a problem for the infield at that point. Right. Now at the plate, here is Bryce Harper. Last time through was a base hit. But a good play by the first mm. baseman to spear this one, and that'll. Damn it. <laughs> now into the box, James McCann. He's one for James two. McCann. Archie. Swing and a little blooper to center. And that's in there. Base hit. Cut, cut, cut. Hold, hold, hold. Definitely tried to elevate the heater right there with two strikes, but caught way too much. Archie Bradley. Nice execution by the hitter. So now a guy making a lot of noise in this one, Richard O'Neill. He's got his sights set on a five-hit ball game here. Line drive to left. Find it, find it, find it. I see you working, big guy. Good job. And they have not been able to get him out. This is now a five-hit ball game for him here, and those don't come along every day. Now it'll be Alec Bohm. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll to. McNeil is calling for it. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. Alec Bohm sucks. Here's Bryce Harper sucks too. Rosario over at second. O'Neill on at first with two down. There goes the runner. And the slider swung oh. on him. There the goes side. the strikeout. Phillies leave a couple. They hold on to their six to one lead. Baseball is a game of streaks and runs, so a four-game skid happens to even the best of teams. You got it back to 500. <laughs> now let's get it over 500. Uh, like professionals are supposed to do. Well done. And this evening ends at a 7-2 finish. Philadelphia jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Well on base. Counting you down to baseball this afternoon on the MLB pregame show, and as we draw. Afternoon baseball now from the home of the Mets, City Field in New York. 
So now into the box is Richard O'Neill, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. He pulls this one into right. Uh, is there to put it away for out number one. The power swing didn't work that time either. Defensive alignment for the New York Metropolitan. Not that often that I use power swing. I use it that one time and it sucked. <laughs> Again. Ah, that's the way center field. The splitter. Yeah, you went five for five the last time. He ain't gonna do good this game. Fifteen doubles on the season. Time you get a hit, another hit. You got a hit already. Let's get another one. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding of it. Excuse me. So three runs on Harper will ruin your wet dream, boy. No runs, four hits. No errors on the Mets line score so far. Sent out to straightaway center field. O'Neill is there and he has it for the first down. Over and digging in, Richard O'Neill. He doubled his last time up. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach. Two seam down. Balls and a strike to count. Yeah, slider. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Round hard, round hard. Ah, no power. No power. Have 82 power and still can't hit home runs. <laughs> like, just right. Hey, this is where you go up there and you just focus on doing your job. Turn the scoreboard off in your head. I know you're down a lot, but you have to have one quality at bat followed by another quality at bat. Don't give any outs away. No ABs go unnoticed right here. You might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance. Five to one, the final. Well, we needed to win because we've been losing. Philadelphia Phillies jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Zach Eflin earns his fifth winner of the year as he turns in eight strong innings of work. So that'll do it for us. Our for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak.
it's been a huge topic of conversation around the game of baseball. Can the two-way player experiment actually succeed? There have been doubters, and they persist, but we've definitely been getting a taste of what could be. John Paul Barossi joins us now, and JP, you talked to a lot of people around the game. What are you hearing from them about their views on this experiment? Well, guys, that's going to do it for me tonight. If you guys enjoyed this video, and you love your girl to death, make sure to drop a like. If you love your dad, give it a, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you never miss another upload. Remember, stay safe. Wash your hands. Wear your mask. Get your vaccination. And most important of all, be kind to each other. Peace.